A research by Vizuki, a UK-based business intelligence company, the global hypergeo processing HPP food market to be worth $14 billion in 2018. By 2023, the market will reach an estimated $27.4 billion and it will grow to $51.1 billion by 2027. This growth is a result of many factors including consumer trends, food safety, and food industry demand. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I'm Ms. Harzani. As we have seen just now, the clip about HPP that has become popular in food industry. So today, we will be discussing about high pressure processing and we have invited two special guests for today. Okay now, let me introduce our guest for today. Our first guest is Ms. Fera, who is the CEO of Hyperbaric Company. And the second guest is Ms. Tia, who is a food chemist. Hello everyone and thank you for coming today. Hello. Okay, now we are going to start with our first guest, Ms. Fera. Ms. Fera, as we all know, there are high demand for high pressure processing products in food industry. So what do the terms high pressure processing mean actually? High pressure processing or HPP is mm -hmm. a full pasteurization technique or non-thermal technique which involves the sterilization of food by the means of ultra high pressures leading to prolonged shelf life of the food and uh, it will retain the nutri nutritional value uh, and the quality of the food itself. Okay, thank you for that explanation Ms. Mera. Ms. Tia, she said that HPP can prolong the shelf life of a food. So as a food chemist, what are the effects of HPP on microbial in food? Okay. As for the effects of HPP on microbial in food, it is that HPP can cause damage to the virus envelope where it prevents virus particles from binding to the cells or even to complete the dissociation for virus particles itself. Uh, however, different microorganisms uh, react differently and has different degree of resistance for the HPP treatment. And it is uh, widely known that for forming bacteria, however, are highly resistant to HPP meanwhile the other bacteria are not resistant to HPP. Okay, thank you for that clear explanation. Now we move on to my next question for Ms. Fair. I thought you said that HPP is a technique that uses high pressure instead of high temperature. Yes. So what is the principle used in this process and how it works? So for the, the, the general principles that explain the behavior of foods and the effects of high pressure include the lesion in the principle, isostatic pressing and also the microscopy ordering principles. So I focus more on the isostatic pressing which states that the pressure is transmitted in a, in a uniform way in all directions. Due to decompression, the material returns to its original shape. So uh, the high pressure technology acts instantaneously and uniformly throughout uh, the mass of food independent of the size, shape and also the food composition. The temperature of homogeneous food will increase uniformly due to the, the compression. Thus an increase in food temperature to a lesser extent a decrease below room temperature increases the inactivation uh, rate of microorganisms during high pressure treatment. This principle has been applied actually to many kinds of uh, food or processed food in the market. Oh, I see. Thank you, Ms. Vela. Oh, by the way, we have prepared a special clip on the review of HPP products. Let us watch it together.
Do you know what is HPP? HPP is a natural process that uses ultra high pressure to follow the shelf life of processed food and maintaining the quality and the nutrition value of the food. Why do you use HPP products? I use HPP products such as this mayonnaise because it can preserve the nutrient, flavor and appearance of the product. Other than that, HPP can also increase the shelf life of this mayonnaise based product. HPP gives marginal food taste and color as well as nutrition of the highest quality premium range of products. Not only that, HPP also allows the improvement of healthier food that are rich in vitamins and antioxidants. What kind of HP products that you use? Can you give me the examples? Yes, a lot of the example is, is fresh juice. And I also use this product. The product that I use is the... This mayonnaise. And this cereal.